Though he was 25, it had been difficult to persuade his nobles that he was no longer a child, and that they should relinquish control. Now he was determined to be king in deed as well as king in name, and he was determined, above all, to break free from the shackles of Magna Carta. But for the moment the royalists had triumphed and the authority of the monarchy was restored, though in practice it would be exercised by the Lord Edward. Among the Masons there had come a certain William of Songs, a man active and ready. Him, therefore, they retained on account of his lively genius and good reputation and dismissed the others. And then, having got the job, like many builders before and since, William shook his head and said, it's a lot worse than I thought it was. And William made a start on the roof, climbing 50 feet of scaffolding to supervise the work. Uh, water, please, and a brandy. <laughs> Haven't seen you in here before. Three six, please, sir. The One Way Phone Company was less than honest about their ZP9 phone. They lied about its lethal potential to cook the brain. And as a result, Diana Hulsey, who used the phone freely, developed a tumor from which she will die. Diana Halsey suffered a severe cerebral hemorrhage and died on her way. Very sorry to hear that. It was time for Jellicoe to prepare to engage. The pressure on him must have been immense. And it's quite true what Churchill was said, that he was the only man capable of losing the war in an afternoon. He was suddenly presented with a second golden opportunity. But how he responded to that possibility would create one of the greatest controversies in naval history.